Okay, at first of its kind festival will shine a spotlight on brunch. Yeah, whether you go for the live music, the special menu, or brunch inspired beers and cocktails, the goal is to help battle hunger in Minnesota by celebrating the laziest meal of the week. A portion of our ticket sales uh, will go back to Finnegan's uh, and their work in the Twin Cities. And they also have their reverse food truck on site. Finnegan's reverse food truck takes donated food. It doesn't make food. And it's a signature of the company that donates 100% of its profits to feed the hungry. But even just showing up to Brunch Palooza and eating will help end hunger in Minnesota. Bluter and Hilo are doing, come, coming together for the food. We're going to have four different food tents. From Blue Door. Our breakfast Blue Sea has smoked cheddar cheese and bacon stuffed inside. Uh, with a fried egg on top, more bacon, and American cheese as well. Tachos? Tachos. Okay. So think nachos on tater tot. From High Low Diner, two sweet and savory donut like creations called High Tops. The Venus Pie Trap, so that has a homemade custard inside, house made chocolate sauce, slivered almonds, house made whipped cream, and a cherry on top. And then also the Gary Cooper, uh, made famous by Adele. And that has the country gravy on top. It's kind of a spin-off of chicken and waffles. Uh, and there's music all day? Yes, music all day. We've got seven local bands appearing on two stages uh, with our headliner, Communist Daughter. I mean, the event's called Brunch of Palooza, but I, I sort of feel like it should be called Bloody of Palooza. How many different bloodies on the menu? Our bartenders collaborated on five really unique Bloody Marys that are all different and all going to be featured for the first time on June 3rd. For Lawless Distilling, we did a buffalo themed Bloody, so we actually blue cheese washed the vodka, paired it with a, a buffalo mix. Guy on a buffalo Bloody. Mm, you can taste the cheese right away. Yeah. It's uh, Instead of piling cheese on top of it, it's right. sort of mixed in. Right, and we have a little bit of fried chicken skin on top. For Vicro, we kept the vodka clean and went with a tomatillo-based uh, mix with house-made chimichurri, spinach, parsley. It's really fresh, really fresh. Yeah, that really tastes like a garden. For Dunord, we uh, went a little bit more herbaceous. The vodka is infused with rosemary, um, a little bit more umami coming from this mix with some fish sauce and mm. achiote paste. I love that. That reminds me a little bit of a gazpacho. Yeah. Norseman, this is the spicy buddy. It's called hot-blooded. It is really quite spicy. Um, again, left the vodka clean, but some smoky hot sauce in there, plum vinegar, soy sauce. Oh, <laughs> yep, that is spicy. <laughs> and then you're making one with carrot juice as the base? Yeah, absolutely. It's incredibly fresh and bright, uh, unlike any Bloody Mary you've ever had before. It's called the Bugs Bloody, and it's the simplest of the five recipes. Stir together the liquid ingredients. Freshly juiced celery, carrots. We've infused tartar sauce vodka with fresh dill and a little bit of tomato juice. And then add seasoning. A little bit of ground turmeric, ground ginger, and ground black pepper. A slice of watermelon radish is the garnish. Mmm. Oh, that is totally different. It's kind of, it's kind of sweet, kind of savory at the same time. You really wouldn't think of this like a normal Bloody Mary at all. No, not at all. Well, there are a lot of options for you there, and I'll tell you, those are all so unique. You probably just need to check them out because they're only going to be served at Brunch of Palooza, which is next Saturday at Upper Landing Park along the Mississippi and St. Paul. You do need to be 21 or older to attend. Tickets range in price from 35 bucks if you just want to go mm -hmm. check out the bands to $59, and they do need to be bought in advance. To do that or for the Bugs Bloody recipe, go to WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix. Let's face it, you probably spend that much on brunch anyway. Oh, easily. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you and I go out. Of course.